Wouldn't it even hurt him even more? Because when he lost Kim Porter, oh. I mean, that crushed him terribly, too. And then for people to go around saying, you executed her, you the one that, you the one that killed her? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I don't care how free they were. They was never free. We ain't never been free. We, I, don't, I don't care if you weren't a slave. Your, your black and your parents or your grandparents weren't a slave. We ain't never been free. We still ain't free. And we forget that sometimes. We think we've made it. Um, they've, no offense to anybody. I'm, they have four or 500 years ahead of us of building wealth and building you know, financial institutions and all that. So when we come and get a billion dollars, you have to realize that you that one person, they have a whole network. So if they fall off, they got a whole structure to help them come back. Trump, what, filed bankruptcy with four times? Four times. You think if I did four times, I would be here? Mm -mm. Come on, they ain't even gonna, they gonna look at me like, uh, excuse me, Mr. Lou, mm -hmm. but you can't, this is the second time you filed bankruptcy. You can't do this. But he comes in there, and four times, and we think that we're on that level. We're not, even when, even, even when you get to be Oprah status, you have to understand that they don't they they see money, but they also see our color. No, that's and, they, and, they, and they think about our culture. And the thing is, is that we never get over that. And that's what happened with Cosby. That's what happened with Diddy. That's what happened with a lot of us. And some people tell me, well, all the white people, they getting in trouble too. But guess what? They go on them plus, they go on the, we go to the hard sales. They go to them plus resorts in the prisons. They got the money to do that. We don't, and then you have to understand that if 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 you become a millionaire and you fall off and you black, who do you have to go and say, hey, I promise you, I'm gonna remake this money and I'll give it back to you. And we don't do that with each other. Okay, just, okay, let's go back to Diddy though and these allegations, man. <laughs> I wanna know, you know, like, like, you, have you ever been at any of those parties where he threw parties? Have yeah, you ever I mean, been? I, actually, I was at a party not too long ago, about, about a year or two ago. And it was, was a Diddy party. party. Yeah, it was up in the Hollywood Hills. I did go. I, I got. We got our invitation and we went. And cool. how was the chemistry in there? How did everything? I was? mean, to me, it was an industry. I mean, it's an industry party. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like. This is what I don't what get. What goes like, on in these this parties? Is what I don't, this, is, Lamar, this is what I don't know. get. The guy who came out talking about he's his, assist, his assistant. I think it was a setup. Um, the one talking about oh, Diddy was walking around butt naked and all that kind of stuff. Well, when you're an assistant, that's what happens sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Because he's trying to probably. Dictate here, you need to do this, you need to do that. You know what I'm saying? And my thing is, he should have said to Diddy, excuse me, Mr. Combs, P. Diddy, whatever you want to be called, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to be called, um, I'm not comfortable with you walking around butt naked in front of me. Well, do you feel like, oh, I'll get fired? Well, if he's such a Christian, because this is what the guy said, well, I mean, I'm a heterosexual Christian man. Well, you being a heterosexual Christian man, why don't you say, hey, check this out. This ain't cool. Don't walk around with me butt naked. He don't want to lose me. his job. Okay, well, then that's not the job for you. Because apparently he hired someone he thought was going to be cool. And they probably asked him these questions. Hey, do you mind? I, I walk around butt naked sometimes. And, you know, I'm a nudist. Or I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what Diddy's doing, but you know what I'm saying. I do know that Diddy has changed a little bit from when he first started. You know what I'm saying. I do know that. You know how hey, has he changed? Well, I, I, I give can, me a description of what he used to be compared to what he is now. To your knowledge. To my knowledge, and y'all don't take this. Don't be like, oh, do say. But to my knowledge, you know, but Diddy was a, a hard worker. You know, he, he worked hard for what he got. He did. Don't don't think he just, it was just by happenstance. Don't think someone said, oh, I heard he, he had sex with somebody and he got a million. No, 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 no. No, Diddy worked his butt off. Yeah, he grinded. He, he grinded. He really did. And even if he did get money that way, he grinded. <laughs> but, anyway, but anyway, but he grinded. And my thing is, is that people, we get so jealous of when people get, you know, like I know there are people mad at you guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know they pissed. Probably. I mean, I do. You know what's funny now? When people see that I've been on there, you know, CEO, you know, what? yeah, that Negro ain't called, excuse me, he ain't called me or nothing. I've been trying to get, you know, a couple people. He know me. I, I go fishing with his brother, you know. <laughs> That's a true story, ain't it? I go fishing with, I said, but he don't know you. You know what I'm saying? You go fishing with his brother. Well, he's supposed to call me. He ain't called me. I mean, hey, brother just, just now came through. He, what'd he say? 
you supposed to call me, man. You ain't call. So people, you know what I'm saying? So you get that now. And then people go, well, he acting different. Mm -hmm. It ain't that you have to different. You got things to do. Maybe we should call you. Yeah. Maybe out of sight, out of mind. You know what I'm saying? I can't expect you to always go, hey, Lamar, I want to do this and that. Maybe I need to call you sometime. So that's you the do way call me sometimes. Well, I do. So that's the way he changed. Well, to me, what happened is that once he did, he started getting the money. I think, I think what really hurt him is that when Biggie died, I really felt that he changed then. When he's saying, uh, I'll Listen, be we, missing you. Truly love. Come on, check it out. Seems like yesterday we used to rock the show. I laced the track, you locked the flow. So far from hanging. He was really going through it. I really it. think, I, honestly, I really think he was really going through it. And I think that um, what happened is that um, you, when you do start making money like that, you, you're... How do I put it? Your surroundings change. Wow. So now you're around people because because you're the money guy. The Caucasian money guys start coming around. Then they start telling you tips, stock options. You should do this. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? We make more money because you make more money. They making more money. Don't think that they try to get him rich to make him rich. Whatever he did. He made somebody else rich. There's but then, no, 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 But I think didn't it even wouldn't it even hurt him even more? Cause when he lost Kim Porter, oh. I mean that crushed him terribly too. And then for people to go around saying you executed her, you didn't want to, you didn't want to kill her. You know what I'm saying? That and, mental, and, that has and, to mentally affect anybody. Oh yeah, yeah. And but but I think what happened is that because he has the money and he's got the people around him. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.